As the school year starts, every student comes into my classroom wondering what's it going to be like. What's interesting is they're thinking about me, but I start the year thinking about them. My purpose as an educator is to facilitate learning experiences that lead every child to discovering how and why our world works. So even if it's discovering how a lollipop proves that diffusion occurs, or examining how hydraulic fracturing works and deciding if it's a positive or negative, no matter what, they're learning that science is everywhere. My classroom is a very active place. Students have the opportunities given to them to really take a look at how to solve problems, how to think critically, and after practicing it, they have a chance to really think about how they went about that. It's also imperative that the middle school child starts to learn how to work with others and to cooperate, and share ideas, and learn to listen to each other. So many of the labs that they will do will put them in a position where they have to work together and they have to figure out how to solve the problem while working with others and cooperating and listening. And before you know it, their success. Our science program is filled with many enriched opportunities for students to see how their science classroom connects with the real world. This is a really important step because it makes them start really thinking about how science will help them in the future and they'll continue to take courses and um, pursue this field. Connecting to the real world and making a difference also really empowers them. They start understanding that their choices can lead to change. Their choices in their own lives can lead to success. iPads are used as a tool in my classroom and at first the students think they're just a toy. They think it's fun, which it remains fun, but then they soon realize that it really is a tool that can help them discover things, um, analyze what's going on, dig deeper into the information. Um, it's nice that the iPads are very portable so we can be inside the classroom, but they're you know, very useful outdoors also. Bunch of the big things of mice, like the the cat died, so there's a lot more mice, and then, and then they, the mice eat all the food in the field, so they have to go to the village to get more food. And then people from the village start dying. And then the mice bite the people. Yeah, they all got bit. Some get sick from the fiesta. No, some get. How did the mice? The corn meal. The corn meal. They they peed in the cornmeal. What? What they, they did? In the cornmeal. They what? They peed. They urinated. <laughs> Middle school students are at this unique time of their lives where they want to be out in the world and try to investigate things, but they're too young to really do that. So we bring it to them. We have mock investigations where we're in the jungle investigating an outbreak of an emerging disease, and they are the epidemiologists having to uncover the entire um, epidemic and figuring out the source on their own, clue by clue. Other times in the year we're um, working on the Rube Goldberg contest where that project is all in class and uh, parents are encouraged to help at the tool table and get involved and be with their, their child and um, they work in groups and it's the first time that they've had to work on a project more than an hour um, at a time, they we shut everything down during the class uh, class day. They just do the Rube Goldberg contest, and they really start understanding that you have to be persistent to problem solve. This also helps us show them engineering and STEM related um, techniques, so that they are successful as they enter high school. Students learn about genetics in my classroom, like if they have the gene to taste a particular chemical. We 
we even delve into chemistry and the dissection of frogs to understand the human anatomy and how all our systems have partnerships and how they can't function without the other. Ah, uh, the seventh grader and their notebook. We work hard in seventh grade science to help them find ways to organize. That is the Interactive Student Notebook, or the ISN. If you use our website, it'll show you how to help your child become more organized. Their notebook is intended to be a device that they start to use and depend on that ties one activity to another, and they start seeing it in the order that we went through but the, and they can use it as a reference to study from, but they're also seeing the connections between all the different units. I have high expectations for myself, and I have high expectations for your child, and I will do everything I can to teach the whole child and all of them.